Hey guys, this is Vivek from Gizbot and hope you're doing well. What we've got here for you today is Oppo N1 Mini smartphone which was launched in India recently at the price of Rs 26,990. And uh, what Oppo has done with the smartphone is pretty much incredible and uh, uh, the company is also offering a free remote assistance accessory which actually uh, they call uh, by the name Oclick and it actually offers a remote control mechanism for your smartphone to take uh, pictures remotely and also works as a mini alarm for your smartphone uh, in case if you have taken the Bluetooth uh, device actually starts uh, giving you a buzz so basically that's a very incredible device that Oppo has bundled with the mini smartphone so right now we'll do the unboxing of the Oppo N1 mini and show you how the device actually looks like so without any delay let's go ahead uh, we'll keep this aside for a while and uh, let me just peel this thing off as it's already it's pretty much uh, taped that's uh, the Oppo N1 mini smartphone so it's pretty much looking nice and uh, okay let's just keep it for a while here and let's see what so you've got a sim card ejecting tool here and you have a bunch of papers which is a quick guide and information guide so you have a wall charger a pair of headphones uh, which is uh, not completely uh, an in-ear headphones but uh, yeah it's a regular headphone and you have a USB uh, cable as well which will help you connect to your PC and help the smartphone to connect to your PC and also charge the smartphone at the same time so this is basically what you have inside the box so these are basically what you will find inside the box okay let me take all these aside for a while and uh, show you what the device uh, looks like the oppo n1 comes with a little bit of a ceramic kind of finish at the back you have a white panel uh, which is pretty hard uh, from the sound and also it feels like a, like a hard uh, plastic it's got a metal rim as you can see here and uh, the device is pretty much uh, Handy and also light at 151 grams it just measures 9.2 millimeter thin and uh, you have a, ma a matte finish at the back you have an Opal logo and you have a mic up there you have a 13 megapixel uh, Sony IMX uh, sensor a 13 megapixel which also doubles up as a front facing camera once you do that so it's basically like that you've got a single LED flash as well so it just swivels like that so you have this uh, sensor as well and talking about the build it's very much uh, it's sturdy in nature it looks very uh, comfortable in hand uh, the 5 inch device is pretty much uh, a handy one I should say that as it fits very it's, it's very easy to hold as well and you have the swivel camera which is very easy to access and you can take your selfies easily uh, I should say and uh, in terms of specification let me tell you it's a 5 inch HD IPS display and it's powered by a 1.6 gigahertz of quad core snapdragon 400 processor coupled with adreno 305 uh, GPU and it has a 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage it runs on Android 4.3 jelly bean uh, version on, uh, which is layered uh, with another color OS uh, which is 1.4 that is a color UI uh, which is the company's proprietary UI so uh, you have a 13 megapixel Sony IMX214 sensor plus LED flash and uh, the f camera has actually got a uh, aperture value of 2.0 as well in the connectivity front uh, you will get uh, 3G Wi-Fi Bluetooth and GPS as well in terms of battery you will get 2140 mAh battery talking about the build it is pretty much handy you have a ceramic finish which is a, a, a matte finish as you can see you've got a secondary microphone for taking videos and capturing uh, audio uh, here and you've got a single LED flash that's a 13 megapixel camera which is a swivel camera at the bottom you have a sound grill you have a USB port micro USB port and you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you can see at the sides you've got an aluminium uh, frame and you've got a sim card tray here 
and on top you literally have nothing and on the left side you can see a power key that's a very small looking power key it's a little bit protruded and on the right hand side you can find a volume rocker which is also a bit camouflaged in between the two rings uh, if you can see there okay so let me switch on the phone and tell you about the phone uh, and how its UI looks and also its hardware while the time it switch switches on let me tell you it comes with 5 inch HD display and it's an IPS display so you've got a good uh, viewing angles as well it's powered by 1.6 gigahertz of quad core snapdragon 400 processor coupled with adreno 305 uh, GPU and also in multitasking purpose uh, the phone will be uh, pretty much good as it features 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage however you don't find a micro SD card slot and you have Android Jelly Bean uh, 4.3 version running on it and you've got a 30 megapixel Sony IMX uh, 214 sensor as I said earlier the phone is uh, average in weight it uh, weighs around 151 grams and it is 9.2 millimeter thin if you can see that and uh, in terms of connectivity it offers 3G Wi-Fi Bluetooth and GPS and it's powered by a 2140 uh, 20, uh, milliamp uh, battery so uh, as you can see here the phone is switched on it's got a nice colored uh, lock screen and it's very similar to Android lock screen uh, let me show you again so if you can see this let me uh, reduce the brightness okay there you have a little bit more okay there you have a color OS uh, that's a proprietary Oppo uh, uh, UI so you can choose a lot of themes from here you can actually customize it as well so you have a capsative button down there you can see that home button and back key so uh, that's a voice search as normal uh, goes on so here you have a normal uh, Android uh, notification uh, panel where you have all these options of uh, checking out the phone phone's battery uh, and also OS version so here you have a uh, color OS version 1.0 so it's based on uh, Android version 4.3 and you have the CPU as said earlier 1.6 gigahertz and 2 GB of RAM you have this is a 16 GB uh, model and yeah it's basically that and you have this Wi-Fi Bluetooth and NFC support as well okay as you can see the screen response is very neat and you have all those customization options if you can see that this is very neat if you can see that you have this menu uh, button uh, which leaves uh, leads you to the menu uh, screen and you have a couple of applications out here you have a Google set of applications in one folder and let me show you the camera UI so that's basically the camera and uh, what are the options you have ultra HD video recording uh, audio uh, image shooting option you have uh, application uh, support like GIF, you have slow motion, uh, slow shutter, you've got panorama, you've got HDR and uh, ultra UHD as well. So that's in a video mode right now. So okay in image mode you have the similar options. Anyways uh, let me uh, okay that's me oh hi there so uh, that's the front facing uh, camera which doubles up when you rotate the screen uh, the swivel camera up here so it's basically a nice looking device and however in terms of pricing the uh, phone will have to face a bit of a competition since uh, Xiaomi Mi 3 has been launched with the Snapdragon 800 processor in just rupees 13,000 so uh, the phone this phone comes with snapdragon 400 and it costs around 26,000 which is pretty much hefty uh, if compared to Xiaomi Mi 3 which comes at full HD screen as well so uh, and also on top uh, Moto G new edition the 2014 edition has been launched at a similar uh, 13,000 pricing range so uh, even that one will be standing up against this one so I think Oppo will have to cope up a little bit in the Indian market uh, 
because of these two devices anyways uh, the phone is pretty nice we'll be shortly coming up with a full on uh, review of the handset and you can hit the like button if you like the video and do stay tuned to Gizbot you can follow Gizbot on Facebook Twitter and G Plus as well thanks